Om Shanti. Today is the 16th of September 2022. Let us listen to the Sakar Murli of our beloved Bab Dada on this Friday morning. Bab Dada Madhuban Essence Sweet children, this is a wonderful play about being worthy of worship and worshippers, about knowledge and devotion. You now have to become Satu Pradhan and worthy of worship once again and also end all signs of impurity. Let's listen to the wonderful essence once again. Sweet children, this is a wonderful play about being worthy of worship and worshippers, about knowledge and devotion. You now have to become Satu Pradhan and worthy of worship once again and also end all signs of impurity. Today's question is, when the father comes, what skills does he show you children? In answer, Baba says, the scales of knowledge and devotion. On the one side of the scales is knowledge and on the other side is devotion. The side of knowledge is now light and that of devotion is heavy. Gradually, the side of knowledge will become heavy and then in the golden age, there will be just one side of the scales. There is no need for scales there. Om Shanti The spiritual father explains to you sweetest spiritual children the secret of knowledge and devotion. You children also know that the father has now truly come and is once again making you into worthy of worship deities. Those who became the devilish community are now once again becoming the deity community. That is, devotion is now ending in this cycle. You also know when devotion began and when Ravan's kingdom began and when it ends and then when Rama's kingdom begins. You children have the history and geography of the world in your intellects. There are truly four ages. Now the cycle of the drama of the confluence age is continuing. All of this is in the intellects of you children. In whose intellects are all of these things? They are now in the intellects of the Brahmins who are the mouth-born creation of Prajapita Brahma. Some name has to be mentioned. You cannot mention any name other than that of the Brahmins. The play is created in this way. Brahmins, then deities, then warriors, then and so on. This cycle continues to turn in this way. You children are now learning the pilgrimage of remembrance. That is, you are becoming pure from impure. You have to explain in this way. We are now establishing Rama's kingdom and it would therefore surely be Ravan's kingdom before that. Because it is now Ravan's kingdom, it also proves that the tree is very big. We are now establishing the religion of worthy of worship deities. The old tree is to come to an end and the establishment of the new one is taking place. You children understand this account. We ourselves were worthy of worship and Satopradhan and then having taken 84 births, we have become Tamopradhan. From being worthy of worship, we have become worshippers and this has to repeat. It is easy to understand how the cycle continues to turn. It is easy to understand how the cycle has continued to turn. It is like actors who play their parts from the beginning to the end. So, this is an unlimited secret. It is the secret of knowledge and devotion, which is now very clearly embedded in your intellects. We were worthy of worship, golden age deities, and then we came down the ladder and became worshippers. You know the accurate date and time when Ravan's kingdom begins. We have taken rebirth in this way. At first, we were Sun Dynasty deities and then we became part of the Moon Dynasty. We have now become the dynasty of Brahmins and we will then become deities. You are now the Brahmin dynasty or God's dynasty. All of you know that you are all the children of God and this is why you say that you are brothers. In fact, brothers are in the incorporeal world and then you have to come down to play your parts. You children know that you change from Shudras into Brahmins and then after studying, you carry those sanskars with you. 
you are becoming deities yesterday we were shudras and today we are brahmins and tomorrow we will become deities you children have to explain this secret you have to awaken everyone you can explain to anyone that the new world is the golden age and that the old world is the iron age there is no happiness here you children understand that when the tree was new we were deities and there was a lot of happiness then as we continued to go around the cycle the world became old the number of human beings increased a lot and so did sorrow the father explains how you were so happy in the golden age no one remains happy forever it is the law to take rebirth having gone through rebirth and having come down your 84 births have now come to an end the cycle has to turn a new knowledge and devotion for half the cycle it is the day the new world and then for half the cycle it is the night the old world you have to remember this study you have to also remember shiv baba the teacher remembers everything you say that baba has the knowledge of this whole world you also understand that you who were pure worthy of worship deities have now become impure worshipers you understand the stages of sato pradhan sato rajo tamo and the history and geography of the drama this play about being worthy of worship and worshipers is predestined talk to yourself in this way the main things needed to become sato pradhan are knowledge and yoga the knowledge is of the world cycle and we become pure by having yoga it is so easy you too can explain to anyone just as baba explains it is just that baba doesn't go outside because the father is with him no human being knows about salvation it is only when they understand the things of salvation that they recognize the bestower of salvation you too know this number wise you understand this and you also explain to others the main thing is to become pure from impure it is only by having remembrance that you will become sato pradhan from tamo pradhan some children here and also children outside ask how can we have yog and what is the way to become pure from impure because they are confused about this therefore you should explain to them that this play has been created about victory and defeat it is bharat that becomes pure from impure and impure from pure for half a cycle there is knowledge that is it is pure and for half a cycle there is devotion that is it is impure you now have to become pure from impure once again this ancient pilgrimage of remembrance is very well known those people go on physical pilgrimages for birth after birth and continue to come down it isn't that they became pure through that it is only the one father who purifies you he only comes once you wouldn't say that shiv baba takes rebirth it is only human beings who have to go around the cycle of 84 births baba says this story is very easy it is just that you definitely have to change your character when you were deities your characters were first class then your characters gradually began to be spoiled now in ravan's kingdom they have been completely spoiled your being impure for half the cycle on the path of devotion has resulted in a lot of upheaval from being the pure temple of shiva it has become the impure brothel ravan conquered you no one even tries to create the kingdom of rama who is god the father himself has to come this is also predestined in the drama we have continued to fall in the kingdom of ravan and we now have to climb up the father comes and awakens you because everyone is sleeping in devotion even though the father has come they are still sleeping the father comes at the end when all are sleeping in the sleep of ignorance just as the father is the ocean of knowledge and knows the beginning the middle and the end of the world so you also know it all of you many children study with the father you study with the one father and then expansion takes place you were made into deities from human beings in the previous cycle too you now definitely have to become that 
some make very light efforts and some make very intense efforts it is number wise some have dull intellects it is number wise in worldly schools too there are so many classes for a ba and an ma in other studies so many people study for those so many people in the world would be studying for an ma all the people of bharat have been studying for so long some become teachers and some become something else they continue to earn their livelihoods acha if they die they have to take a new birth and start studying afresh there in the golden age there is no study for an ma etc it is fixed in the drama for this time and you study it and you will then study again after a cycle there there are no books etc whatever happens on the path of devotion doesn't happen on the path of knowledge on the path of devotion they teach whatever happened in the past the father has told you when it is rama's kingdom and when it is ravan's kingdom and how we have continued to come down all of these secrets have sat in your intellects very well you now have to make effort to become the highest of all however not everyone can become the same in a kingdom some make very good effort and imbibe divine virtues to become pure you have a godly register check yourself to see that you have no defects people sing i am virtueless and i have no virtues everyone understands that they have defects when we had all the virtues we were 16 celestial degrees full it was their kingdom there are pictures of them these temples etc will not exist there there won't be any trace of the path of devotion there then on the path of devotion there won't be the slightest trace of knowledge you know this number wise those who study well and imbibe everything continue to develop those qualifications it enters your hearts how much you should help how much you should become helpers of the father from whom you claim the sovereignty of the world we are god's children the father has come to make you all into bestowers of happiness he never causes anyone sorrow you children have to become so elevated baba repeatedly tells you note down whether you have caused anyone sorrow the father gives everyone happiness so we too should give happiness we have given this life for baba's service make effort to become very sweet even if some say wrong things just stay quiet give everyone happiness show everyone the path to happiness so that you can become the masters of the land of peace and the land of happiness you have to become the bestowers of happiness because the father is constantly the bestower of happiness he removes everyone's sorrow it enters your intellects that you were those who gave a lot of happiness when we were in happiness there was no name or trace of vice we didn't use the sword of lust in the golden age no one makes anyone unhappy the father continues to tell you children consider yourselves to be souls it is souls that have to become pure no sign of impurity should remain in you souls you will continue to progress day by day you claim the kingdom number wise according to the efforts you made you are now making effort to claim the same kingdom again you continue to see how much effort each one makes to how many do i give happiness you children know that you will not cause sorrow for anyone in the golden age if you make less effort there will be punishment and a low status will be received you will lose your honor some children continue to do a lot of service they make so much effort at the museums and exhibitions these exhibitions and museums etc will continue to grow on the scales the side of knowledge will continue to become heavier on one side is knowledge and on the other side is devotion at this time the devotion side is so heavy that it is going right down to the ground it will become very heavy and go right down to the bottom it will seem as though there are 10 kilos on one side and just a quarter of a kilo of knowledge on the other the side of knowledge will then become heavy in the golden age there is just the one side of the scales and then in the iron age there is just the other side at the confluence age there are the two sides there are so few people on the side of knowledge it is so light 
then they will be transferred from that side and continue to fill this side and then devotion will end and just the side of knowledge will remain there will no longer be two sides the father comes and shows you the scales it continues to be less and more sometimes there are more on that side and at other times there are more on this side they come into knowledge and then become members of the devotion side those who are strong know that establishment definitely has to take place when it is our kingdom only we will exist then the side of the incorporeal world will become heavier many souls will remain there so that side will become heavier then from the copper age onwards after half the cycle they will continue to come down the world cycle continues to turn in this way when you are impure there is no need for scales scales are only needed when the father comes the father brings the scales with him you have the knowledge of the trees in your intellects at first a tree is very small and then it continues to grow all the leaves dry up and finish and then it repeats when it receives water small leaves grow it also bears fruit the tree becomes bare every year everything will become new now there isn't a single person of the deity religion they definitely did exist it used to be their kingdom but when people have forgotten this the clan of you brahmins also continues to grow day by day therefore churn this knowledge in this way and continue to imbibe it and explain it to others acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and we the spiritual children say namaste to our spiritual father today's essence for dharna has two points first engage this life of yours in the father's service become a bestower of happiness become a bestower of a lot of happiness if someone says wrong things keep quiet become equal to the father in removing everyone's sorrow second point check your own register imbibe divine virtues and become one with a good character remove all defects today's blessing may you be free from looking at others and become a conqueror of maya by having the awareness of your title of a spinner of the discus of self realization blessing once again May you be free from looking at others and become a conqueror of maya by having the awareness of your title of a spinner of the discus of self realization at the confluence age the father gives you children different titles baba explains keep these titles in your awareness and you will easily be able to stabilize yourselves in an elevated stage don't just describe them with intellect but get set on the seat as the title is let your stage become that when you have the title of being a spinner of the discus of self realization in your awareness you will not look at others a spinner of the discus of self realization means a conqueror of maya maya will then not have the courage to come in front of you no one can stay in front of the discus of self realization finally today's slogan experience the stage of retirement and give others this experience and all childish games will finish slogan once again experience the stage of retirement and give others this experience and all childish games will finish acha om shanti